with our video of the sliding filament mechanism of muscle skeletal muscle contraction. So to represent everything that we're going to be using, we have the yellow skittle, which is the potassium. We have the red red hots, which are the calcium. The green skittles, which are the acetylcholine. The orange twizzlers, which are the acetylcholine receptors. The purple skittles, which are the sodium. The Blue Finding Nemo gummy is the acetylcholinesterase, and the gumball with the red hot inside is the calcequestrin, which stores the calcium. So we're going to start at the axon, and a big depolarization, or the action potential, arrives at the synaptic knob. Flash! The calcium channels in the membrane open calcium channels in the membrane open, allowing calcium to move in the cell. The increased calcium causes the synaptic vesicles filled with acetylcholine to fuse with the membrane. Acetylcholine is released from the synaptic knob by exocytosis into the synaptic cleft. The acetylcholine is picked up by receptors on the motor end plate of skeletal muscle. Sodium and potassium channels open, allowing the sodium ions to enter the muscle fiber. The increase in positive sodium ions inside the muscle cell causes the potassium ions to be released from the motor end plate. The increase in positive ions inside the muscle cell also initiates an action potential on the sarcolemma. Before we continue anything further with our muscle contraction explanation, we need to explain that the green dots are representing the ADP molecules, the purple dots are representing the ATP molecules, the yellow dots are representing the actin, the pink play-doh is representing the myosin, the orange play-doh is the myosin head, the green play-doh is the tropomyosin, the bright blue play-doh dots are the troponin, and the darker blue is the sarcoplasmic reticulum. The action potential arrives on the sarcolemma. The sarcolemma surrounds the skeletal muscle fibers. The skeletal muscle is made up of many muscle fibers bundled into fascicles, which are the thick red strings. The fascicles are made up of many myofibers, which are the thin red strings. The myofibers are made up of many myofibrils, which are the orange strings. Myofibrils are surrounded by T-tubules, which are 3D tubes made up of the muscle membrane. Flash. The action potential travels down the sarcolemma into the T-tubules and stimulates the release of calcium from the terminal cisternae of the sarcoplasmic reticulum, where it has been sequestered by calcifestrin into the sarcoplasm of the muscle cell. Calcium floods over the thin filaments and binds to the troponin, pulling tropomyosin off the active site of the actin. The high energy myosin heads leap to bind to the exposed active sites on the thin filaments, forming a cross bridge. The myosin head pivots to the low energy state, releasing ADP. And moving the thin filaments over the thick filaments.
which is the power stroke. ATP binds to the myosin head, causing the head to break free from the active site on the actin. The, the myosin head becomes energized as ATP is converted to ADP. Calcium is pumped back into the sarcoplasmic reticulum and attached to calcequestrin, allowing tropomyosin to once again cover the active site, resulting in relaxation of the muscle. Once the muscle fiber contracts, the effect of acetylcholine binding lasts only briefly because acetylcholine is rapidly broken down by an enzyme called acetylcholinesterase.